Okay, guys. So, all right, guys. So here's a basically an escape from the side mount position. Um, really, really interesting here. Once a lot of times when you get to your side, people transition to side mount. So really easy option to basically escape by sitting the person down on their butt. So from here, yeah, see how he flared his knee out, right? So look. That little push of the knee basically starts to get him to sit. The other thing I'm doing is with my bottom leg, I'm basically lifting my knee up to trap his ankle. Watch this little movement that I do. It's basically like a hip movement. Leg comes up, I trap his ankle, I keep his knee out, and now I'm basically turning my hip up. See how that drops him on his butt? This is really, really important what comes next. Watch what I do with my hands. So as I come up, I'm basically immediately starting to pass the guard instead of being stuck inside of his guard or getting triangled. See how that makes you sit? And immediately hands go underneath his legs. That's crucial if you don't want to get triangled and also if you don't want to start from inside the guard because if you just sit up, he's going to cross his legs around your waist. Now if you sit up, there's no waist that he can cross his legs around and you can immediately start passing by basically stack passing. Once he sits. Because now I'm going to come up and from here, any attacks, any attacks, any attacks? There you go.